All right, it's Monday morning now, and I need to find out from you what your intention is with regard to um, whether you are gonna testify in this case. You have been granted immunity so that um, the privilege of self-incrimination is no longer relevant because the state can't use anything that you might say in answer to their questions or any other questions against you. Um, and you have been instructed with the benefit of counsel as to the consequences if you don't testify. So I'm asking you now what your intention is. May I speak? You can answer my question, please. And so you're under subpoena. The state intends to question you. Are you going to answer any of those questions? Are you going to testify in this case? Well, Young, I've been pressured from the get go. You know what I mean? Like, even when I went to the meeting with Glenville, I have told him over and over and over and over. You know what I mean? I, this is on my conscience. I, I got to keep distracting myself every, every day because I've been dragged down in here to here because of lies that I don't told. I'm tired of y'all bothering me. Okay, well, I'm sorry that you're tired of being bothered, but you're under subpoena. It's a valid court order. So your decision at this point is, yes, I will abide by the subpoena and testify, or no, I will not abide by the subpoena and the immunity order, and I will be held in contempt for my refusal and put in jail. So which is your decision? But I did a time for all my crimes that I was caught for. Sure. This is this would not be any kind of punishment for any crimes you may or may not have committed. This would be that you have been ordered by a court to testify. And if you refuse to testify, you're held in contempt. You're saying, I refuse to listen to the court's order and obey it. And it is not a punishment. It is an incentive to have you change your mind and obey the court order. So which is your decision? Can you explain it to me? Yeah, I said we talked about it. It's the same thing that Glenville is doing to me? It is the same order that is still in control. You have a subpoena for your testimony. That is a court order. You also have a court order that says anything that you say can't be used against you other than if you get on the stand and lie and it is it amounts to perjury, you can be charged with that or with false statements. Um, but if you refuse to testify altogether, when you're under a court order to do that, then that is considered contempt because you're saying, I don't care what the court has ordered, I'm not gonna do it. And then you'll be put in jail through the end of this trial. So my, or I'm, until you decide, you know what, I think I will testify after all. So let me, Young, I'm telling you to your face, you just said that something about it, they can lock me up for nine. I'm telling you to your face, this is all I do. And you're telling me that they can lock me up if I lie. But if they, if I sit here and testify, so the e way going to jail? No, not with regard to anything that you might testify to that might otherwise admit to a crime or admit to your involvement in a crime. That's what the immunity order does. And I'm sure Mr. Melnick has explained this to you and I know I've explained it previously, but none of that is gonna result in you being put in jail because they cannot use that evidence against you to prove any of those crimes that you might incriminate yourself about. So are you going to testify or not? <clears throat> Do you want to talk to Mr. Melnick again? No? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to have you step out for just a minute while we get the jury in.
Mr. Melnick, if you could step out with him, please. Just so. Thank you. Oh, do y'all just watch it, man? That was YSL Woody. YSL Woody had the ultimatum of testifying, snitching on his homies, YSL, Young Thug, everybody that he knew that was in the alleged gang or go to jail. He tried to put up his best fight not to tell. He started acting like all these questions like, yo, your honor, I don't understand. But the judge not playing, man. Judge Whitaker is not playing with him at all. She repeatedly asked him the same question. And eventually, YSL Woody gave in, bro. He had to do what he had to do. He going to testify now. I'm pretty sure YSL Woody is going to do some strange activity when he decide to testify. He probably is going to act like he don't recall certain things. He already said he's a liar. So, I don't know, man. We're going to see where this case goes, man. What do y'all think about what's going on so far? How do you guys think YSL Woody will play it? Yeah, man. It's about to get interesting. The trial has started. Lock in, man. Make sure y'all drop a comment. Subscribe to the channel, bro. It's your boy, Busy, and I'm gone. Rap goats. Rap goats. Rap goats. Rap goats. Yeah.